Well, good afternoon. Uh, I would like first to start by uh, thanking uh, uh, Colin Campbell and the Colonial Williamsburg uh, Foundation for, uh, for hosting us, and also to thank uh, CSIS, obviously Reggie, Adil, Adawi, and uh, Caroline. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an important meeting that times, uh, comes at a timely uh, uh, manner, and it's in a beautiful scenery. Uh, I'm very much uh, um, interested and obsessed with history. Um, uh, just to give you a bit of uh, background myself, besides the biography that you'll find in, in your booklets, um, as you know, I'm, I'm, I come from an IT background. Um, and I finished my PhD almost 22 years ago. But just four months ago, I got a degree in art history, focusing on Islamic art and architecture. So I appreciate that very much. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that my own university, the American University in Cairo, has the third largest uh, 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 selection of books and manu manuscri manuscripts after uh, Princeton and Oxford. Uh, having said that, and why am I obsessed with history? Because of my own country. Uh, long history, uh, cultural her heritage, uh, heritage in itself in, in its historical uh, background. Um, and I always uh, look forward to see it in a better place uh, for the people, for, for, to preserve our history and to move forward. Having said that, um, I'm standing here uh, uh, to fill the shoes of a friend who could not make it today. But I have to share with you one thing. By any stretch of imagination, I'm not an economist. And I'll give you a very concrete example for that. Some 30 years ago, I was getting into a, a senior class. I was graduating senior, actually senior year. I was getting into my, my, my class, the first class in an economics course in the spring semester. And the minute I stepped in, the professor was saying, assume 1 plus 1 equals 2. And I stopped there and said, hmm, because that was about the only thing I can do without a calculator. So I said, um, I, I hadn't even reached my, sh my seat. And I said, what do you mean? He said, just sit down. I, I, I didn't finish my sentence. And then I said, I, I can't. That's, that's a bad start. And he goes, just sit down. And I, I was just about to feel that the third time he's going to tell me, sit down or get out. And he almost said that. And I said, you know what? If it's 1 plus 1, uh, I'm assuming that 1 plus 1 equals 2, I'm, I'm, I think I'm in the wrong place. I actually went out, dropped the course, dropped the major, and changed to business. <laughs> so I'm not a, an economist by any stretch. But I don't think we're here to discuss the economy. We're here to discuss Egypt. And the economy is just one side of the coin. Economy and politics in the future, maybe it's the three side coins, uh, are just integrated together. Uh, we're talking of a difficult time. And I think throughout the last uh, couple of days, we came out with more questions than we came in with. Uh, sometimes it's better. But uh, sometimes it's even better when we come up with, with some answers. And I think we have, to, we have the answers. But we need to just talk to each other. We need to stay positive. And we need to look at the other side, the other bright side of at the end of that tunnel. Obviously, Egypt is a big country uh, with accumulated uh, issues. And I'd like to call them issues and challenges just to stay positive and not call them problems. Um, and I think there are a number of venues that we can uh, tap into in order to come out uh, from that uh, situation we're in in a, in a much better shape. Um, I have here some thoughts that I want to share with you. Um, I start with capitalizing on the most important resource that Egypt has, people. And those people are young and passionate and determined to change Egypt. And we've seen that two years ago. I mean, they are the ones who took the lead in, in the events of uh, January uh, 2011. And some people call it a young population. I actually call it a baby population. Because if you look at the statistics, you have 58% are under the age of 25. But even more than that, most of those are under the age of 18. We have a huge population that is almost 19 million between uh, uh, schools and education. That's the future. That's one area that needs to be fixed today so that in five, six years, we start, we start really uh, benefiting from the dividends of investing in education, investing in, in brains, investing in human capital. I look at that as the oil of the 21st century for Egypt people. So that's one, one element. Uh, the second element, which is, comes naturally, uh, uh, with the history of Egypt, with the location of Egypt, uh, which is the tourism sector. Uh, I think we are blessed with so many different types of tourism that 
people can uh, enjoy. Uh, but we haven't been capitalizing on that, not even before the uh, uprising, not before the events of 2011. Um, even in the best year, as, as we've discussed, we've had 12 million uh, tourists. I think we can do much better than that. We can do 20, we can do 25, we can do 30. But of course, this needs way more than just uh, uh, a few temples and beaches and so on. It needs an infrastructure. It needs service uh, culture. It needs uh, 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 reaching out to the different markets around the world and inviting people to come to Egypt. Having said that, they will only come to Egypt when it is safe, when the security is actually uh, in place. Um, I think one of the things that uh, we've all been very, very proud of as, as Egyptians is that I think uh, up until uh, uh, recent history, it was probably one of the safest cities as Cairo and countries as Egypt uh, in the world. Uh, we're going through a bit of a bump, and uh, that needs to be fixed. Um, you look at this, th these few different elements I've just mentioned, education, uh, uh, tourism, uh, security, I look at it as a more or less uh, 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 maybe 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> And we need to start somewhere. And I don't think uh, time um, um, uh, um, is of uh, anything but essence and invaluable uh, importance. Um, uh, some, some people would like to think that um, Egypt is too big. Uh, it, can't, uh, it can't go down or that uh, time will fix issues. Uh, I don't think uh, that's the way to go. And there was a consensus uh, among uh, uh, those who are present uh, in uh, today's economic uh, panel on challenges and outcome. Uh, agree on that. Uh, there is an overwhelming sense that things need to happen, things need to happen now, but uh, we need also to come up with an agreement, uh, starting up with a minim minimal consensus uh, on where to go. And there's no doubt that there is a, a, a strong willingness uh, to go uh, into uh, that path. But to do that, um, uh, it's not the government alone that can do that. It's the government, it's the private sector, and it's the, uh, and it's the, uh, the civil society. But again, to do that, that is, there has to be the ecosystem that enables for that, that empowers the youth, that empowers the, uh, the civil society um, um, uh, uh, sector in the community. Uh, we go back again and remind ourselves uh, why the, the events of uh, 2011 uh, started in the first place. Uh, it was because of one of the things that was not there at that time, which is social justice. Well, that's here uh, sort of the catch-22. Where to start? Um, um, we get into the issues of energy, the issues of subsidy, the issues of budget deficit, and so on and so forth. Um, freedom is not free. It always comes at an expense. But the, 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 the key thing is to try to smoothly and gradually put a strategy that at some point uh, we will have some sort of the aftershocks, but at with time, if people can see the uh, the, the end game and if the whole uh, strategy is transparent, I think people will buy into it, because I'm, I'm sure Egyptians are smart. Uh, for some time, they might have been, uh, 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 for a long time, they might have been uh, sort of economically uh, under the, 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 some extreme pressure, but they're smart. They understand that things don't come easy. And I don't think it was even easy to get through the events of 2011 and, and post uh, that period. Uh, but that, I think, bring back stability in the street and bringing back uh, uh, the different uh, 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 sort of uh, uh, ideas uh, uh, into the game is, is, extremely, uh, is extremely important. Uh, one other thing that, that, that was raised and I think is extremely important, uh, behind closed doors we can come in, uh, and come up with all sorts of proper policies, uh, but uh, the, the, the devil is in the details when it comes to the implementation. And that's again is extremely important. Uh, uh, implementation would obviously, when we tackle issues like subsidy, well, uh, we hit the element of social justice uh, and things like that. Um, but again, that's what I said, uh, things should not be rough, uh, 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 rough, things should not happen overnight, and it will not happen overnight. But there is always uh, a, a glimpse of hope uh, and positiveness when there is a clear path, there is a, there's a roadmap that is transparent, that is shared, uh, that is agreed upon, not necessarily 100%, but that also factors in the different capacities uh, in the community. Uh, and there will never be one size that fits all. And there will never be one uh, uh, sort of uh, solution that would please everyone. But there has to be the uh, benefit and the well-being of the people and of Egypt um, at the uh, uh, front. Um, I go back and, and insist 
and emphasize that the future uh, will rely on, on the Egyptians. And, and it was not a surprise that those who, 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 who uh, sort of uh, went into the streets uh, two years ago were the future of Egypt, not the uh, current leaders, but the current and potential uh, uh, leaders uh, of Egypt. And in that sense, I would like to emphasize the importance of looking at the educational sector again. Some will argue that this is a sort of a long-term strategy, and I understand that. But you always need long-term strategy, but also you need quick wins. Uh, and you have to have that balance. And I think in Egypt, uh, we have the, um, the, the talent, the, the capacities, uh, if all in, are all engaging and are invited to engage uh, in a transparent way, in a positive way, uh, everybody will, will, will step up to, to, to support and provide their inputs. Uh, I truly believe that the, the future doesn't lie in the government. We've had already uh, a large chunk of our population working for the government. Pre-2011, it was 6 million, 6.1 million. I think post-2011, I think there were at least 1 million added, so we're talking 7.1, 7.2 million. I think it's time to really focus on the private sector. And again, you look at the, uh, the youth, uh, there is a bit of a change in the mindset. There is a culture, uh, 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 sort of uh, uh, a new approach that uh, um, we want to go out there and, and take risks. I think there is an element of fear that was sort of broken in, in 2011. And that fear uh, sort of hit also that, that risk averse mentality that, that, that at least youth had. Uh, and now they, they, they just go, want to go out there and, and start their own companies and fail and, and learn from, 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 from their failures. Well, that, that was not easy to, to, to start, by the way. I was accused of several times, uh, four years ago, even before 2011, when I one day said we need to celebrate failure. Obviously, I did not mean to go out there and, 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 and party, but to celebrate failure, I meant that we need to not shy away from failing. We need to learn from our mistakes. So that's the only way we can appreciate success and, and move on. That's happening now. Still early days, still we need scalability, we need sustainability, uh, but that, I think that's an extremely important point to help another challenge that is facing the economy, which is uh, unemployment. Um, so again, we go back to the model of the jigsaw puzzle with 1,000, maybe 10,000 piece, I hope not, but um, uh, there has to be catalyst for change. And catalyst for change could be in the form of uh, policies uh, uh, that are properly implemented, uh, that are clear, uh, that are acceptable by uh, the larger uh, community uh, and that work for the people. Um, I think Egypt uh, deserves that. Uh, it has been going through a rough time for, for a long time and, 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 and that's a personal opinion. It's not just 30 years, I think it's 60 years. And, and you don't fix 60 years overnight. Uh, it takes maybe a generation to fix that. But that generation to, to so that the following generation could benefit uh, from, from that, uh, I think work needs to uh, start uh, now. Uh, final uh, keywords I'd like to leave you with is um, it's important when we move forward to reconcile with the past, to reconcile with, with different uh, elements of the community, uh, but also to, fo to, to focus, not to try to fix everything at the same time. Uh, uh, people might say we need to isolate problems, we need to look at one problem at a time. That might be true, but not totally. We need to isolate problems, but work in parallel. Uh, I think over the past two years, there was a major focus with the, with the political issues and, and sort of the economic issues were left uh, on the side, more or less. And I don't think this is, uh, this is leaving us uh, in, a, in, a good, uh, in a good place. But is, is it fixable? I, I truly believe so. I, I, I remain optimistic, I remain positive. And I think everybody that was here also share uh, the same feeling. The, the question is, where to start and where to go from here. And I think um, we need just to start somewhere, as long as it, that, that point is a strong point where we can build on it, where we can when capitalize on what we have and, 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 and take it from there. It, it makes a hell of a difference when you keep thinking of something, but, but, but you're not there, you're not in it, you can't really feel it. Uh, once you start, I think it, it becomes um, uh, extremely easy. I don't want to sound that the, the problems are uh, uh, easily solvable, but they are solvable. Um, uh, uh, many countries around the world faced uh, a similar situation, maybe even worse, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's the community. And I mean the sense of the community is the sense of the ecosystem. As I said, the private sector, the government, the individuals, the civil society, uh, all needs to be engaged uh, um, and, and take it from there. Thank you very much.